we need to include the true social and environmental cost of carbon into the prices paid by all sectors of the economy. I know that your parliament is working hard on that. We also need to get greater information on the exposure of individual companies in order to make sure that climate risks are adequately priced. And lastly, we need to see substantial green innovation and investment. But both, however, require a complex ecosystem of which finance is a key element. The EU must make progress to consolidate its leading role in sustainable finance. The fact that central banks are not responsible directly for climate policy does not mean that we can ignore climate change or that we do not play any role in combating it. Climate change is, in my view, very relevant to the ECB mission. The scale and irreversibility of its consequences calls for not medium or long-term action, but for immediate action from all actors, each within their competence, each within their mandate. The material effect of climate change, as well as the acceleration of the transition, have macroeconomic and financial implications. They have consequences for price stability, our mandate, for financial stability and banking supervision, also responsibility of the ECB, as well as for the euro system's own balance sheet. We are aware of these consequences and determined to mitigate and adapt to them.